Hello there you, and welcome to another absolute slaughter that we have for you today. Now in our last episode, the Tyranids had ravaged a town planet. Now they move on to their next prize target, a Karut stronghold called Carvor. Here the group will make their final stand to protect their dense jungles against our Tyranid swarms. Will biomass be consumed, or will a homeland advantage see the group to victory? Let's find out. And as always, if you do enjoy this content, do hit the like button and consider subscribing. Here we go then, ladies and gentlemen, kicking off our second episode of our Tyranid campaign. Will we have enough forces to be able to take out the Karuk stronghold? Only time will tell, as you can see, our magnificent Tyranid swarm here, surging forward through the dead jungle, being met already by the Karuk melee here, charging right forward, taking us on, and already, oh my god, there's already so many died. Look at this on the front line. The Karut surging forward, meeting on head on, straight here, fighting on this very first line. No one's actually making any ground yet. They've actually managed to stop us dead in our tracks. However, we have got bigger units coming in behind. As you can see, Carnifexes and Warriors now are starting to make their way to the front line. However, look at this. Oh my god, them Tau Gatling guns there, just absolutely decimating our front line, helping these Karut now to start actually pushing forward. Of course, the Karut here are excellent at melee capabilities here, and this is their homeland, so they've got the advantage. They know the terrain here, so they've actually managed to bottleneck some of our forces on this side. We are storming over the ruins on this side, look at this. Terranids on the concrete, making their way over, and being met by Karut on the other side yet again. The Karut really have plugs every entrance here. Now, this is the fortress in the centre here. You can see it's surrounded by water on either side. So we are attacking on two sides here. So we have got another swarm over on this side, trying to make its way through. And they're having much the same on this side. However, our warriors are definitely here on this front line, tearing open Karut. Tear oh, God, look at these things. Just taking them down, multiple Karuta at once. The group, though, really are good at deflecting these attacks. They take on the Hormagorns, absolutely no problem. But the Brood Warriors here, they really are the experts when it comes to melee combat. And they are just proving their worth here, even with the heavier armor, being able to deflect some of the shots. It's a massive advantage that they have. However, without the tiny Swarblings all around them, they would be nothing. Look at this, though. We've already got a crazy body pile in the background here. The Karut at 40,000 kills already. We're at 25,000. Though, I do think, bit by bit, look at this. We're starting to thin out the melee line over here. They're not getting as many troops through. It's hard to see through all the dense jungle, but I guess that's the problem here. <laughs> oh, it'd be horrific fighting the Tyranids in an actual jungle. I feel so sorry for like people like the Katajan jungle fighters and stuff like that. It is not gonna be a nice environment. Especially with just all the plants trying to kill you as well. But at the moment, the Terranid Horde here has halted. We have been halted. You can see the Karut are surging forward. They've got a lot of the gunners here. Also on top of the hills, raining down fire right into us. Some of them are going to be taking deflection damage here though. Look, especially like these guys on the front here. You can see every now and then one of them goes down as bullets get deflected right back at them. But yeah, we are making grounds bit by bit as we thin out these Karut melee guys. It's going to be hard to push it through all of the gunners as well. Because there are Tau Fire Warriors. There's also a couple of Crisis Battle Suits and a few Hammerhead Tanks waiting for us over there. Oh my god, did you see that then? Just a load of Tyranids got cut down in seconds. As we are searching forward now, you can see, look at this, the flow of melee combatants is really starting to thin out. What's not thinning out is the blood. Oh my god, little Timmy is going to be very pleased by the end of this. In fact... He can already get his rubber dinghy out. Look at that. Fun for the entire family as the Tyranids stop keep surging forward on this side. Let's go to the other side. You can see these are still a massive amount of Karut in the middle and Fire Warriors. How are we doing on this side? Okay, so we've got some Carnifexes now on the front line. They're going to be helping out massively as one just goes down there. Clearly focus fired down. But these guys have got insane deflection capabilities. So they're really going to have to watch out. It looks like a lot of these as well are Karut Gunners again. Yeah, so it looks like we've managed to take out most of the melee line at the moment. You can see that the smaller Tyranids are really struggling to get past some of these guys at the moment. But unfortunately, when these card effects go down, 
there's going to be a crazy surge forward here from all these Tyranids. Look, you can see it happening over the side. There we go. Finally, a little pathway is opened up as the card effect moves over. Another one joining on up over this side. Look at all that firepower just being laid into this one dude here. There he goes. Down he goes. It was bound to happen, really. But wait, actually, these card effects are really helping out the group just a little bit here at the moment. Even though they're getting really good deflection value, they're sort of blocking the entirety of the rest of our swarm. There he goes, it goes down, and you can see there straight away the warriors come surging forward. That is what we were after. God, look at this. Proper bottleneck here. The Karut stronghold is really, really tough to break here. How are we doing on the side of uh, on the here where the ruins are? Okay, so yet again, we have been halting these damn Karut. Why can't they just die? Why do they keep halting us here? Well, we have actually pushed forward, though. Look, the Karut before were halting us here in place, so we have actually made some a little bit of progress. Again, I think it's because a lot of the guns now are having to focus fire here on all the card effects. That are certainly starting to take an effect on our front line. God, look at this. We've actually been fighting for this hilltop over here. And it turns out that it's not really a pathway down for us. It's going to be a really narrow gap. We're going to have to fill that in with bodies to get more troops down that really quickly. How are we doing here on the front line again? Okay, so the card effects is still here, but it looks like now that we've got two pathways either side. And we are making progress once again. However, look at all these gunners. There's a lot of them just waiting their turn. <laughs> and they can see the front line quite clearly here. Just laid into our horde. The Tau here now are up to 121,000 kills. We're at 52,000. We are starting to catch up. Oh my god, look at this. We actually collapsed the outer uh, defense here now. We've pushed right into the center lines. We're actually starting to assault the fortress itself. And the blood is certainly flowing. Oh my god, look at all these guys now bending. You know what? I think it's that time, ladies and gentlemen. It's a little bit early, but you know what? It's that time. back ladies and gentlemen where our assault is really underway here now we've only got a few Karut left here on this side defending we've been assaulting them relentless as you can see through the little uh, cinematic camera there look at our poor old Tyranids here throwing their lives against this front line however they know that it's all worth it if they manage to defeat all the Karut here the biomass will be reclaimed and re-harvested Reharvesting is definitely the right turn there. <laughs> Look at these Tyranids, they're really struggling to push over this side though. The crew are still putting up a valiant defense on this side. However, if we swing over to the other side here, you can see that we've completely crushed this outer defensive line now, and we're starting to attack the core line. However, this is where fire warriors are. There's a lot of courage here. Look, there's fire warriors in here. There's even a couple of mech suits, like this one over here. The uh, VX-8 mech suits, and there's a couple of hammerheads hidden over somewhere. Looks like we've actually may even maybe damaged one over here. Yeah, I think we've actually managed to kill one of the hammerheads over here through deflection. You can see a card effect here. Try to or two. Try to make the way up here. My god. That is like trying to fit a giant... Look at that, I doubt he can even fit through that once he gets up to the top of it. He is holding back a massive board behind him, though. These card effects have really been a detriment, actually. Perhaps that's part of the uh, Karut plan here all along. This is, like I said, their homeland, so they sort of know the lay of the land here. And they've definitely been using it to their advantage to funnel our attacks. Yeah, this card effect is just taking a hell of a punishment here. We're all kind of waiting for it to die so the rest of the assault can continue. I think a similar thing is happening over here. Yeah, oh no, we've definitely still got plenty of uh, warriors on the front line over here. But the uh, Karut have still got melee combatants charging forward, and they're slowing us down just a little bit. 
which means that the fire warriors are laying into us. Let's go have a look. How are we doing on the other side? Have we finally managed to clear up these guys over here? No, but they are definitely collapsing now. You can see that they're really stretching themselves out there. This, oh, God, there's a massive group of uh, fire warriors over here, giving them covering fire as well. No wonder we're taking insane losses as we push over this area here now. 200, uh, coming up to 260,000 kills to the defenders now. We've killed almost 90,000, so we are still pushing forward. Look, this side has been cleaned out, but it doesn't look like any of our units are actually deciding to... Uh, push around this side which is a little bit odd i'm guessing that they're just heading for the uh, nearest units which just so happen to be these guys over here but look at this it's, it's their last stand though now we are taking out the last few remaining ones and that will free up the rest of the uh, the rest of the horde here perhaps they'll actually start using that other attack path of, as we uh, get rid of these ones here but these crudes especially the fire warriors man they've been really just hammering us that entire coastline there's got to be so many dead under here can we actually even see? Okay, well, I can see... Oh, oh, God. Yeah, there's definitely a lot of dead on it. Oh, my God. That's a lot of dead. Yeah, we've lost a lot of Tyranids going there. Uh, <laughs> down into the drink over there. How are we doing on this side, chaps? Are we actually managing to push forward? No, because there's only a few of you actually pushing this way. Which means that this entire line over here, which really does have a lot of fire warriors in it, looking at it now, it's just opening them up completely. How's the assault going on this side? Finally, the card effects died finally, which means that our assault can continue now. Are we making any headway? We are actually getting to the top here. A few of the uh, melee combatants are coming at us, but we are taking care of them. Bit by bit, we'll build a body wall up here, and that'll give us at least a little bit of cover as we start to get through this side. And what about over here now? Are the card effects are still alive? Indeed they are, and they're pushing forward, taking that punishment for us. It really has had a really detrimental effect on the enemy, though. All that deflection. God, look at that. Yeah, you can definitely tell the uh, the mech suits here when they lay down their covering fire. It's just insane. Thousands of Tyranids must die with each one of their volleys. But we have been making a very solid progress here. We have still got 700,000 units left. What are we doing over here? God, we've been absolutely decimated. It looks like we tried to push out a little bit of a flank over here, but it didn't work out for us too well. Now, we can, let's go back over to the other side. Have we made any more progress over here yet? No, we're still not using that side. Have all the people on the coast at least been killed? Okay, so yeah, the others have been killed now, so we are pushing it unanimously this way, but we are being eradicated in the process. Hopefully, what this will do then is we'll actually just be distracting the enemy and have to half their firepower, because at least if this half over there is uh, keeping an eye on them, we are storming over this side now. Oh my god, look at all these. So many have died to deflection, actually. I would say that a good chunk of these have all died to deflection from our card effects that have been coming up to the top. Yeah, definitely. So what appears to be happening is... Oh yeah, it is, look. The gun suits are railing into this guy here, and he's just deflecting half of the shots right back at them. Oh, that is horrible. The pulse fire is just getting returned back at them. They are being killed with their own weapons. <laughs> oh, poor old Tao. But they have killed basically at least a third of our army here so far. But we are now encroaching onto the top of their hills here. How we look at this area again. Oh my god, it's got two card effects. He's back in it, blocking the way again. However, they have got much, much better access this time. They're not being railed upon by hundreds and hundreds of guns simultaneously. As you can see, we've taken out another hammerhead on this side. How is our Pittsburgh movement coming along? Well, it's coming along quite nicely. The body pile is really starting to build up on this side, which is going to give the Tyranids behind it a little bit of cover. And that's going to allow us to keep surging forward. We have broken 100,000 kills as well now. Oh, it's really hard to keep track of everything in this uh, dense jungle down here. But yeah, look at all our horde. It has been thinned out considerably. It looks like some of them are trying to push around. <laughs> There's a long way around, guys. You could push around to the other side of the horde, but I don't think that's necessarily going to help us. Uh, how are we doing then? Have we actually started using this side now? Oh no, that was on the other side, isn't it? No, we haven't really started using the other side just yet, but you know, hopefully this time, yeah. We are being railed upon, though. Them tab. The deflections have really annihilated most of the Tau here. But the ones that are remaining have still got enough firepower to keep us at bay. It's kind of insane, actually. I wonder if we didn't have the Carnifexes and the Deflect, would we have ever have gotten through this? I wonder how many Tyranids and Hormagorts it would actually take. Like, if we just had an Hormagorts army, I bet we're talking like 30 million to get through to the Tau lines. 
There's still actually a lot of them left. 11,000 of them here. Another card effects coming in, though. The bane of their existence so far. Because, look, there's no Tyranid bodies around here at all. This is all deflection. It is a primary skill, really. Especially as we don't have any real ranged units yet for the uh, for the Tyranids. Hopefully one day the modders might release some for us. Oh, God. We're just filling up this lake bit by bit with bodies. That's all that's happening at the moment on this side. It's insane as high as our body pile has gotten. It's not actually getting us anywhere. Like I said, it is helping to protect the Tyranids behind, but the ones who are still getting to the front are still just getting annihilated before they can get anywhere close. A couple of the brave Karut here still charging forward, trying to take us on in melee combat. Glorious death and all that lot. But you know what? It's really on this side where we're making the actual gains. We've actually pushed over the top of the hill now. We're totally in here. There's nothing they can do about it. We're amongst them. God, look how I'm all backing up now. This mech suit's ready, waiting. But, oh, look, it's trying to take on the uh, card effects, actually. That's probably not a good idea, my friend. You might want to lay into uh, all these other guys that are coming over and are just swarming it all down the other side. A massive blood lake has started to appear beneath all of them. Ah, there's nowhere for you to go now. Our swarm's just enveloping them, but only 9,000 of them left, and I'm guessing this is most of them here that are on top of this hill. Definitely the pincer movement is starting to work. I don't think we've actually got that many Carnifexes left. They have taken out a damn good chunk of them. That is a little bit sad. A horde may have to go on without Carnifexes from this point on. Because look at all these. They're not Carnifexes. They're just corpses. <laughs> That's all they are now. Oh my. We have still got a lot of Orbegorts left. That is something. At least six, about 600,000 of them. Now as we start to push this hill over the top here. They have got a stalwart defense ready and waiting for us. We're piling up the masses. Actually, we've not really not got that many troops to push. And have we? Where's, where's our army? It looks like it's really struggling to get through this area. So it looks like these natural filters that uh, the Tau were using have really worked to their advantage. Because even though we've managed to push all the way in here, we still can't just get enough units going. So we're really hoping that this side starts to make some decent progress sometime soon. Which it has, look at this. It's now left the body pile behind. It's surging forward. They're getting ever closer to that front line. The Tau now coming up to 400,000 kills. I hope they don't break 400,000. That'll be devastating for us. But we have actually made it towards the front line of the Gunners now. And we're getting so much vengeance. Much needed vengeance, quite frankly. But they're, hold they're going to hold this hilltop really stalwartly. Looks like our assault on the other side now has really started to catch up with them. I don't know if this is basically a last stand now. Look at that. We've got a bit of total pincer movement. Our horde is swarming around both sides of them. It looks like the last stand is going to be on the hill over there. How close are we actually getting over here? So we are getting a few units over this side. That's good then. I was hoping that. Basically that they weren't just annihilated us just as we got there. And we're starting to build another body wall. Looks like the Overwatch hasn't really helped out too much. Although they're getting some kills in from here. They've got to be. Look at this. That's a really nice position that they've got up here. For both sides. More and more of the Tyranids, though. Keep pouring in. God, look at these blood pile, uh, pools. It's, it's really hard to see how deep it is at the moment. Because the amount of Tyranids that are pouring into this area. We have taken stupendous losses, though, I must say. <laughs> it's all justified, though, in the end. Like I said, it all gets turned back into biomass. More and more warriors will be created eventually. But we have got card effects left. Look, we've still got one left over here. Oh, it's so good to see you, guy. I thought you'd all been absolutely eradicated. But no, we do have at least one left. That's good. Yeah, definite pincer movement now. 100% success. That is the two armies there linking up for the first time at the bottom down here. Oh, you've got to put, give it to the uh, the crew. They were massively outnumbered. Massively outnumbered. At least, what, 10 to 1. And they've really held their own here. The Tyranids barely bring in just enough reinforcements here. But I wonder what their next target's going to be. Now that they've got the Karut out the way, where will they go next? Let me know in the comments below, actually. I'd really like to get your opinions on uh, where you'd like to see these Tyranids go. Who you'd like to see them attack. 
We can go ahead and take on more Tau because they've definitely had a success here. So they could go on and attack the Tau Hive City. Or maybe you'd like him to go and attack someone. <laughs> Someone else, maybe cows or orcs or something like that. Let me know in the comments below. As we literally can declare here, Operation Barkle. Only 3,000 of the enemies remaining here. Most of them are in this area. A few of them remaining on the hill. These are going to be the hard ones to dislodge, actually. Because these really narrow attack paths coming up to either side of them. So what we're going to do is quickly hit a time-lapse camera. And we'll be back in a moment. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it all comes down to this. Our final remaining defenders at the top of the hill, fighting for their very lives. As our Tyranid horde here swarms over the last few remaining survivors. Fire Warriors and Karut standing side by side and laying down in death. <laughs> oh my god, look at that glorious sight of our Tyranid horde just swarming all around. Ignore the, the giant man in the background. That's what happens to a hammerhead tank. When it's uh, a little bit out of focus, it sort of turns into a giant person. Nothing I can do about that. <laughs> but look at that, ladies and gentlemen. The last of the crew there, going tumbly down the hill. Apparently, there's still 800 left somewhere. Ah, that's why. They're in an inaccessible area to us. I don't think we can actually get up there. We would quite literally have to build a body pile to get up there. You know what? It might actually be fun to see if we could do it. I'm going to leave this going for a few minutes. And I'm going to see if they actually managed to make a corpse pile up towards the Karoot. If so, that would be really funny. We'll be back in a second. Well, ladies and gentlemen, you've got to give it to the Tyranids. They actually managed to do it. <laughs> Look at that. They actually managed to build up enough bodies to get to the remaining crew. They're not going to get to these ones up here. We're not going to wait for all that. But yeah, they did actually manage to get up there. No way. They piled up the corpses and got there eventually. But we are going to be ending at this one here, ladies and gentlemen. The Tyranids have been absolutely successful in their campaign so far. Where are they going next? Let me know in the comments below. And as always... I do hope you had a blast. I know I did. Please do comment, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. A massive shout out to all our channel members who helped to keep this channel going. And if you're not a channel member, why the heck not? Click the join button below. And as a reward for being a channel member, your bonus content is now available. So go ahead and check it out. And while you're at it, why not go ahead and check out Aquilacast, the Warhammer podcast. With all that being said, as always, until next time, peace.